It's weird not to introduce you as head coach of the Milwaukee Wave, but you haven't been head coach of the Milwaukee Wave for how long? Uh, this is my fifth season, I think. Keith Tozer. Good morning. Good morning. Keith, how are you? Good morning. Wow. You've more, you've you more... ever get triggered by music? Yes. Um, right? Sure. I just, yeah. too. I just got triggered. Really? If you like... It was a good trigger. Telling people to do something? No. <laughs> no. What? Uh, no, I, I, you don't hear that song much anymore. So when I hear it, it reminds me of you guys and being in the studio. And Which we talked about how many times. And, and here you are in it, the studio. So being in the studio doesn't <laughs> remind you of being in the studio. But the song, <laughs> it's a little odd. Oh, I, I love you I guys. I <laughs> Thanks, that out exactly. Thanks, Brian. Well, you know. You're not that is so true. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You uh, you have moved to a bigger I, stage. I just sat here and never thought about it, and then yeah. all of a sudden the music yeah. threw me in. Okay. Oh, there you go. I feel like I'm in the studio with Austin Price. Oh yeah. That is. So I, am a, I am in the studio. With Gary, Austin they're picking Price. on me. Help me. No, no. Sit tight. Come on, Gary. Hey guys. So you have moved to what now? I you're 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 like a, you're like LeBron. You're a global entity now. Uh, it's been crazy. Uh, this, Obviously, you know, still the commissioner of the PFL. We continue to work on that, and, and we've got a lot of announcements coming up. Uh, uh, still traveling for FIFA. Still uh, just came back from Lisbon, Portugal, with the youth national teams. So we were there for about eight or nine days, which is beautiful. Um, I had coaching that team, or I'm the technical director for the United right. States Youth Futsal, and we have a program where we have state IDs to identify players to go to the national ID, and the players out of the national IDs then become members of the U.S. team. So six months ago, we took the older kids to Medellin, Colombia, which is really cool. I love. Wait, what Columbia. kids did you take to, to Colombia? 14, 16, and 18 boys and girls. From, from the U.S.? From the U.S., yeah. And you took them to Colombia to? To play matches versus the uh, teams from Colombia. So they competed? They competed. All yeah. right. They're how, great, yeah. And where were these kids from? All around the country? All over the United States. And how did they qualify? How did you guys determine the, these are the 16 best that we could bring here? Yeah, that's great. Great question. Uh, starting right now is the new cycle. So we have state identification uh, trials across the United States. And I go to a majority of them. Uh, this past weekend I was in Minnesota, 130 players. They do two training sessions, three matches, and then they get evaluated by a staff. Actually, Todd Dasovsky, uh, who used to play for, for sure. me with the Wave, he was on the staff. The ones, so you get rated one, two, and three. The ones move on to the national ID. The national ID is in late June in Kansas City. There will be 550 players there that weekend. So is Kansas I'll, City a big soccer town? It has become the That's soccer capital. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, Built a new training center there, sporting KCs there. Central you know, location whatever. or what? So we'll see 20,000. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Why did it happen there? It, it, sporting KC's done a great job. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, NCA, the NSCA, National Soccer Coaches Association of America, is, is located there. However, they just changed their name to United Soccer Coaches. And, and then U.S. Soccer just built a, a brand new multi million billion training facility there for the national and, team. Okay, here's another question yep. for you, just to show you that I've been paying attention. Yep. That's in Kansas, not in Missouri too, right? That's on the Kansas side of Kansas City, I believe. You know there's two parts, right? Right. There's Kansas City. Not in, not yeah. on the Missouri side. I'm still figuring out the music okay. thing about the trigger right. and now you're throwing but sports. I, but I but I think if you check, I think that's uh, I think I'm right on. I that. coached Kansas City for for a year. So I, I think I was in the Missouri side and then I played in the Kansas side. Okay. All right, so you're familiar with so it. So I, I know that. So you okay. lived there. I lived there nine months. And this information is still kind of well. It was the booty of the. It's always <laughs> it's always right out there. I mean, I'm sharp as a tack. It's a million that. years ago now, though, right? <laughs> oh my lord! We we'll trying to figure out how long it came on the show, and yeah, all right, so, time flies. So you're a world so, traveler. You're all over the place. Now. You know, I'm excited about this weekend. Anson Durance. Have you ever heard of that name? If you know anything about soccer. Anson Durance has won 22 Division I national championships at the University of North Carolina. He's also won a World Cup for the United States with women. He coached Mia Hamm and Kristen Lilly and every that. Okay. He called me up about a month and a half to two months ago. I've known Anson uh, for, for 25 years, but he called me up and he said, Coach, I have two young girls that are coming to my ID camp. So all the ID camps now in the country where, where colleges get to look at young kids what are the ages for id camps uh, 14 and older i guess okay. he said i have two young girls one's from charlotte one's from boston he re researched obviously their background their background is futsal 
He said, they're actually better than what Mia was at that particular moment. He goes, now I'm your megaphone for the game of futsal. I, he goes, I believe in it. It's awesome. Can you come down? So I'm spending the weekend with him in North Carolina, Chapel Hill. We're putting together an initiative to put futsal in all elementary and secondary schools there. And I'm also going to do some coaching, uh, some uh, of the coaches in the state of North Carolina. So I'm excited about this week. Okay, so is this going to turn out uh, better soccer teams for World Cup and stuff? Because we've fallen off on that. Yeah. yeah. Who did we just beat? Who did we just beat? Panama. Yeah. 3 nothing. Should we? And everyone goes, yeah, but it was Panama. But this is a brand new coach and brand new team, right? Brand new coach. A lot of new players. Obviously, it's better than losing 0-3. So I think, you know, whenever you're a coach and you're brought in, you're the new coach. Obviously, when you win at the beginning, it makes a lot of things better. So kudos to him. Hopefully, we'll go. And then, Brian, to answer your question, we've talked many times that futsal, you know, is street soccer. It, you get a limit on, on so many touches, the physicality. It, it makes outdoor players better players, and it's a fantastic game on its own. So, uh, and it's booming. We're, so. we're the only place on the planet where futsal is new, right? I mean, it's been around the world. You, you're just yeah, getting it up and running here. Yeah. Um, there's 220 countries under the FA, FIFA, that are actually playing futsal, and, and we're one of those. But now it's, it's coming by leaps and bounds, and that's one of the reasons why I started the World of Futsal podcast. I researched. There's not one podcast, like a major podcast for the, for the game. Are so you a major podcast well, now? Uh, how many listeners you guys got? A million? No, uh, listeners? I think it's listeners on the show? I have no idea. I, we, we, started, we started three and a half months ago. Right. We, actually, we actually rolled it out at the convention two years ago. We had a World of Futsal meet and greet, and we had 100 and some odd people there. We just had one recently in Chicago two weeks ago. Thank you to Miller Chorus for sponsoring that, by the way. Um, over 200 people. So right now we're north of 21,000 listeners in over 110 countries around the world, and on February 6th, I'll sneak it out here in, in the show. February 6th, we'll announce the world of futsal television. So it's been great. You're going to add a camera to this thing, too? So you're going to. Yeah. So yeah. This is, is this your dream come true to finally. Because you got bounced on that. Was it TNT or TBS when you thought you were going to make your world premiere at the desk and they got. Oh, yeah. Right. God. Yeah. 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 You're right. Yeah. 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 You, you got, got your tie on. Ernie Johnson. Yeah. yeah. You have a great memory. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, I love to talk, um, I, I love the game. Mm-hmm. And no one was doing it, and I figured if I'm not going to do it, someone else is going to do it. So, okay, give us, well, a, you know, where do you go? I yeah, have, what's the podcast? You, can, you go, you, well, if you have iPhones, you got your purple podcast already built on it. So yes. just go to the World of Futsal. Okay. If you have an Android, then just go to your app store and then just download free the app for podcasts and, you know, World of Futsal. You can go to www. People don't have to Nobody say that anymore. Nobody ever says that anymore. Okay. Right. As it was coming out of my mouth. It's okay. All you have to do is go to theworldoffutsal.com. Go to our just website. About every website address. Yeah. Even though we have over 40 guests already. I have two a week. Every Wednesday so and Friday. So you do two podcasts a week? Yeah. Wednesday and Friday. You so me? you're doing the interview. Yeah. This is what I do. I, so my guests are from all around the world. Yeah. So the fir- one of the first guests we had was the coach of Argentina who won the last World Cup for futsal. Uh, Diego who's now coaching in Spain. What I do is... I get their CVs, or that's what they call them in Europe. I get their resumes. I research. I put together 10 to 12 questions. I send them out, and if they speak a different language, I, I interpret and change to that language. I have interpreters. And then so they have an idea what we're going to talk about, and then they bring them on the show. So now with the YouTube station, the TV station, I can have a coach on, and actually he can do a small coaching seminar. You a, know, a little tutorial? A little tutorial. And, you know, how it works, the podcast, you can sell banners and mm-hmm. microphone things. And sure. So, I expect to jump a Pennzoil can up on the desk at some point. Pennzoil, please call me. And, 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 and if, you want to, if, you want to get, if you want to get in touch, in touch with this show. So. <laughs> Pennzoil, I'll take Pennzoil. At info yeah. at the world of futsal. So yeah. you can email me. So do you find uh, this new role as the interviewer yeah. exhausting? Where did you learn your interviewing skills? Yeah. What's the biggest challenge you have as an interviewer? Uh, <laughs> coming up with questions? <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of like just sitting around a campfire. I, I, you know, I, I, I do motivational talks for, for companies, so I'm, I feel comfortable in front of people. I feel comfortable in front of a mic. Uh, I've been talking for, you know, a long time, and 
I, I love the game of futsal, and, and it's booming around the world. What's cool about the podcast is that I can reach every corner of the world. Because it's not that I'm doing a podcast and it's just people in the United States and I'm Someone's talking about in a yurt in Mongolia watching you. Yeah. 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 Are you wearing a tie and everything for this? Or a little more casual than that? No, no, no. Well, up, up until February 6th, you can wear whatever you want. You, you, so, I, what I, happens on February I, and, I, and I have, we and announced, TV. We, we announced yeah, but, okay, but. so I'm going to have a world of futsal television. Okay. I'll have Penn's Oil on my shirt because they're going to call and sponsor no, us. Okay. Uh, so anybody else that would like to sponsor the show. <laughs> Uh, you can shirt, you can shirt. email sure you can email Snickers. email us at <laughs> <laughs> not going anywhere for a while. <laughs> Watch this. Uh, <laughs> He's trying to explain his I worldwide. That's okay. I got Snickers on my shirt. Right, I got Ben's oil <laughs> silk. Yes. I got everything. Yeah. Uh, info at the info at the world of futsal dot com. If you like to sponsor, we got fifteen second spots, thirty a minute. Uh, title sponsors, T-shirts, you know, and I have shirts for you guys. But You're with a the real whore now, aren't with you? The, with the T-shirts, bumper <laughs> stickers, hats. Hey, we sold what? we sold out we sold out in 24 hours. Yeah. The first time we threw up you merchandise. Sold out all right, Tozer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to know about this trip to Portugal you just took, and not the soccer stuff. I want to know the other stuff. Like, what's up? Instant, okay, what's up? Sorry, sorry. I'm triggered. All right, all right. but incident at a drive-through. Yeah. Someone see and think you were Dale Earnhardt, or <laughs> I was at the airport. I know, but I just what uh, happened on the Morocco trip that uh, you know that wasn't <laughs> near death experience. Sports oh related. my god! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, you know, something has to happen. <laughs> that was so funny. You almost drove off a cliff once. You you went like you, you went. You did the hang glider stuff in, in, in Rio. Yeah, we did that in Rio. Yeah. So uh, what? what I shocked a woman in Charlotte. She thought I came. Out of the casket. Nothing like nothing in Portugal. Nothing. Um, no riding burros or. Oh, well, they, and as we pull up to the hotel, so we have a ninety-six player, so we have eight teams of twelve. Is that ninety-six yet? We have yeah, hundred and some odd parents. I have a coaching staff of twelve. I have an administrative staff. As we pull up to the hotel, two blocks, I see an Italian restaurant, and. Um, so I go in that night with some of the staff, and we start calling the guy um, Papa Joe. Yeah. And Papa Joe was awesome, so we spent New Year's Eve there, and he opened up the whole place for us and whatever we could do. So that, that was a fun night. Um, Portugal's great. I, I've never been there. I, I definitely want to go back. Okay. Clean, beautiful, great food. The futsal was great. All right, so where, so, can, they, where can they, we're getting laid here. No, no, one, no one threatened to kill you or, or uh, push you off a cliff? or No, you, you actually... Really? No, not really. Portuguese <laughs> movie stars coming up? And well, that. That. That happened. Portuguese <laughs> movie stars. <laughs> okay, keep going. All right, All right. Gonna, we're there New Year's Eve. So Where can they find your podcast again? Okay, you can, go to, the world, you can go to theworldoffutsal.com. Right. Uh, you can go to iTunes, Stitcher. We've been number one on sports. Uh, can I throw one more thing out there? Sure. May 4th and May 5th in Madison, Wisconsin. We partnered along with... Uh, Elar, uh, with Madison Futsal, we will have the Wisconsin Illinois State Trials right here in in Wisconsin okay. at, in Verona Sports Facility. Uh, you can go to the uh, you can go to usyouthfutsal.com in order to sign up for that. All right, well, Coach, our time Great. around the campfire this morning is up because you said you'd like to make them like a. Hey, I got an idea. What's that? You got? You, you got to come on the podcast. What oh, are we going to tell me? We the world of Come soccer. on, that'd be would, awesome. It would, no, Why not? Because we're not really, you tell us about soccer. I'm, we just sit there and go. I'm getting that? I'm getting Pete Rose on. Really? Come on. He was my first owner in uh, 1976. Cincinnati Kids. Really? Mm. Pete Rose. So you got Pete Rose coming on your He podcast. just sent me a jersey about six wow. months ago. So that's okay. Very thoughtful, right. Mr. But, Mr. Rose. Uh, Keith, it's guys always. Hey, happy new year. And by the way, you're going to the grill, huh? I saw there's more rooms opened up. Yeah. And I was waiting to see, you know. We are going, yeah, you know, to Jamaica. I thought maybe I'd get, I, I thought maybe I'd get that little, yeah. little hey. you know, 25 year reunion. Hey. Tozer goes in the grill. <laughs> you know, be good. Stephanie Sutton goes. How long? How, how many years has she been on? This is well, a couple. Well, this is what it does. <laughs> she does great work. Yeah. She's awesome. I love. I, she's awesome. All right, Keith. Always good to see you. 
Maybe we won't see you in the grill. You like you like how I threw that plug in? I, yeah, I noticed that I was taking nice. it to the Very end, good. too. Because you want to do a segment down there. You can't shirt. get me off. I will not leave. <laughs> All right. We got to go. Keith Dozer.